Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I always say that. I always started off with like, good morning. And then I remember, oh, that's right. I probably won't put this up till afternoon. But it's morning here, 8.30 in the morning. We had, well, first of all, anybody that was affected by the storms that ran through the middle of the country uh, a couple days ago, uh, Kentucky was hit really bad, but I know Tennessee and Arkansas and Illinois. And speaking of Illinois, um, an Amazon warehouse got hit. And I'm sorry, sorry, and I just, it's devastating. Um, so if you were, not only if you were affected, but really it goes out to anybody, even if they're not listening. Uh, I've definitely been thinking about them a lot. So last night we had the high winds, 60 to 70 mile per hour gust. And we are currently without power. Um, I had placed a grocery pickup literally minutes before we lost power. And so I just went and picked that up. And I said, well, we have no coffee going on, so I will grab coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. I grabbed a whole box of Joe, because as you, as you guys know, if you've been listening, my mother-in-law still lives with us, or my, my, my mother-in-law, but both of my in-laws still live with us. And um, they love their coffee in the morning. So I said, well, I'll stop and pick up coffee for you at Stewart's. And I thought, you know, our COVID cases are so bad right now in the area that I don't really like to go inside places unless I really want to. So I did a, a Dunkin' Donuts pickup through the drive-thru and I got a box of Joe. 10 cups of coffee. I think it's more than we need. But I think, you know what? I'm gonna go the longer way home so I can talk to you guys longer. Um, so look at, this is what like day old hair looks like because I couldn't shower because our water pump is not working without power. So we have a generator, but my husband last night, the power went off at like eight o'clock at night. And so we all decided just to go to bed. I was actually already sitting in the bedroom, um, which I'll talk about what I was doing in a minute, but I was sitting in the bedroom. Oh, there's a big tree down. Wow, that's a big tree. We had a tree across our driveway. So I had to drive onto the front yard today to, to get out. So, um, so my husband comes in, he's like, well, we're all gonna go to bed. I'm like, it's eight o'clock. So we sat up and, and talked and did, you know, whatever until 9.30. And then uh, I said, all right, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I went to bed. But, so I got up and my, we have a generator that can power the whole house. It's hardwired into the house and everything. And But why run it if we're just sleeping? What's it gonna do, give us night lights? And that was it charge my phone which is why I decided actually to take this longer route not only to talk to you guys but it will continue to charge my phone so I uh, so got up this morning and my husband normally doesn't get up until like 10 in the morning even if he goes to bed at 9 so I decided to stop and pick up this um, this coffee because he probably won't be up to get the generator going once he gets the generator going we'll have coffee we'll have electricity everything will be back to normal but why waste that, uh, let, um, the gas and stuff to run that? So we'll hold off until the last minute, I suppose. But football is today and I like to do, like to get, well, like to watch that. And I bought a ham last week. I need to cook that. So I'm hoping to cook that today. Well, so reselling, re, re, which is why you guys are here, right? Well, some of you are here because you love to hear my life stories. But you get it. All right. So before... I got a story to tell you guys. It's really funny. Um, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you talk a little bit about reselling and then I'll throw in my story. You're gonna want to hear this. If you've been following my journey about having people live with you, you'll want to hear this. All right, so I ended up going. Uh, all right, and last week, I can't even get my my thoughts together. Last week, I took the plunge and decided to open a Shopify store. I'm going to be reporting to you guys how that is coming along and, and stuff. I'm not going to share the store with you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm selling because it's kind of a, well, if you've been following my channel, you know somewhat probably what it is, but it's a niche I've kind of got myself into. And honestly, it's, it's not a very big niche, so I don't need the competition, um, but do some work and you'll probably find it. Um, so I ended up opening a Shopify store 
and <clears throat> excuse me it wasn't as easy as I thought everybody kept saying it's so easy they got templates and all this stuff so setting it up was a little bit more work than I thought it was gonna be um, figuring out how to click and move on stuff if you're familiar with like WordPress and plugins and all that kind of stuff it's kind of like that it's almost like it's based on a WordPress with plugins and you just have to kind of go in and click on each one and fill in stuff and remove stuff because they have free templates but the free ones are not very nice and they got ones that you that you pay for but they're like three two hundred and fifty three hundred dollars which I will upgrade to one of those or have somebody make one or whatever at some point if if this starts to kind of like kick off I might end up investing the money into that but I'm a little weary on investing too much money without knowing if it's if it's gonna work because the thing with Shopify like when you sell on eBay eBay brings people to your website. People know, some people know about eBay and they go directly to ebay.com and they search for what they need. Same with Amazon, right? People just go right to Amazon. They don't, they don't like always click on an ad in Google. And that's kind of what Shopify is. You've got to promote it. So you either, people are going to click on an ad they see on Facebook, an ad on Instagram, um, you know, an ad on Google, like, they're gonna see it somewhere and that's what's gonna bring them to your store versus just going to your store. Like that's like Etsy. Etsy is so I love Etsy. Because people do people complain all the time about Etsy ads, offsite ads and the 15%. And I'm always like, bring it on because I get so many ads from that and I strongly feel like they wouldn't have found me otherwise. For what I sell, people aren't it's not a handmade item, so people aren't automatically thinking Oh, I got to go to Etsy to buy that. It's a supply item. So it ends up being, it's just not something that somebody would think of going to Etsy for. So I really rely on the Google ads to find my item that I'm currently selling on Etsy that now I'm going to sell on my Shopify store. So I've got to put time and effort and money most likely into that. So I'm probably going to spend my money on ads versus website design. But I feel like my, I mean, overall, I, I did set up one design and I didn't like it. So I did switch to a different free one, which probably is what took some time. And I imported my items from Etsy. Well, when it imported, which was great, it was like 300 items and it imported them. But then I had to go in and edit every single item. I had to create collections because I can't figure out how somebody can just, like how can I create, um, let's say I was selling t-shirts or clothing and I'm selling t-shirts. How do you click on just to look at my t-shirts and then how much, the sweatshirts and the baby bibs or you know any of that type of stuff. The body, baby body suits, AKA onesies. <laughs> how do you click on those and find just those? Well, you gotta put them into collections and that took time. And then I had to edit them all because none of them had like shipping on them. It was like they were a digital download product. That's what took the most. That took three full days of me editing those. Well, I should say three afternoons because in the morning I was packaging orders and stuff. But as soon as my orders got done, I immediately went right to working on these items and our, our, this website. So I finally, I think I got it to the point where somebody can go on and order from me I think so I I don't know I'm, I'm hoping I get an order and we'll see so now I'm gonna start promoting so today my plan is while watching football is to just do a lot of social uh, I got to figure out I'd love to do like a Facebook ad or something along those lines but I think I need to style some photos like create some photos maybe do um, what's it oh, I can't think of what it's called when it's like a, it's a picture that's already taken and you just drop your photo, your product into the photo. Mm, I can't think of what it's called, but they, but they have those. I'd use those for my digital downloads I have. Wow, there was a tree down right there. I just went by. All right, so I was saying that, uh, sorry, I had a cough, so I had to edit that part out. Um, 
and I gotta remember what I was saying because I just had a coughing fit. But I was talking about spending time while watching football. I want to create some type of ad that I can, you know, maybe send people to my store, uh, try that out and see what that's like. Uh, I, I don't know, I gotta kind of do some investigative work and to see what that's like. Um, probably watch some YouTube videos. If anybody has any great YouTube videos or has any knowledge on S SEO, fix my camera, like always, let me know. I'm just clueless. And when I had a blog, I was really active in the blogging world and that brought a lot of traffic. I did reviews. Um, I actually had a blog called Front Porch Reviews. And there's, I, I still own the domain name. I'm thinking about selling it because I just don't ever do anything with it. Every year I keep renewing it for what? Like I just, I don't do anything with that blog anymore. So I'm thinking about getting rid of that. But, um, so I used to be really involved and I would get a lot of traffic and stuff on that from just being extremely involved in that community. And, you know, I was always doing giveaways because people would sponsor a giveaway, um, give me something to give away for free. So there was, you know, people love giveaways. So you just, that was when Twitter was just starting out. And so, you know, you just put hashtag giveaway on Twitter. So many people found me that way. So this is different because people are, I don't know if they're really searching for this hashtag. And I mean, I could always do a giveaway, but I don't feel like that really brings repeat customers or covers it, customers that are really looking for that item. I mean, I used to enter giveaways all the time and I never cared if I wanted that product and I never gone back to the pa the pages where I entered. It was really just a game to enter the giveaways. And so I really don't feel like that is what brings customers to you. Now you could give away, you know, buy this and you're gonna get this free, right? And I've seen, I've seen where people have kind of done that in some ways, like they'll say, well, honestly, I gotta tell you, I was ordering some stuff from Stonewall Kitchen and I did a search on Google to see if I could find it cheaper and it said free shipping. And I was like, okay, that's what I want because I have to pay shipping for this place. Every single one that said free shipping was all free shipping with a minimum purchase of, well, Stonewall Kitchen was $99. So I kind of was like, well, geez, um, you know, why is, why, I mean, the fact that it shows that on Google, there's obviously, you know, trickery that you, that you can do to get people to your website. Um, so I still ended up ordering and had shipping and all that kind of stuff, no matter what, unless I spent $99 or I think there was another place that had it, um, I'm trying to think of, there was another place that had it a little bit cheaper, but I ended up doing just right from Stonewall. Well, all right, so I'm almost home and I got it. I told you guys I was gonna share this little story. So we went to the casino yesterday. It was my mom's birthday. And I think she's only been to the casino maybe two or three times this year. And I said, come on, it's your birthday. Let's go to the casino. Um, they had like a double slot play promotion they were doing. And so I, I kind of wanted to go and I haven't gone since November. I'm kind of taking a break for two weeks. You know, I like to go every week. Well, I took a break and I said, let's go to, um, okay, watch, hold on. There's a car up here, a truck. He's backing up. Don't know what he's doing. I think he's turning around. Must have missed this turn. So I said, let's go to, um, let's go to the casino and I'll get you lunch. And she loves Aldi's. So I said, I'll we'll go Aldi shopping afterwards. It's hard for her to shop in there because she has to be in a wheelchair and they don't have scooters. So I've got to bring her to go in there. So I said, we'll stop at Aldi's before I bring you home. Well, my mother-in-law came along. <laughs> we met at the lunch place at the casino and we got there and she was eating spicy cauliflower. Like it was a uh, deep fried cauliflower. She goes, oh, I was tired of waiting. I ordered an appetizer. Well, she showed up 10 minutes early. So she got an appetizer for herself. And then she ordered her meal. She ordered a taco salad. It comes in a big taco bowl. And then she got some French onion soup. And we were like, 
do you realize, like, you're eating so much food. Like, how do you, you're never going to even finish everything. Because their portions there are pretty big. Well, now I know why she got all that extra food. Because she got a salad. She literally picked out every piece of lettuce from her salad. <laughs> she just ate the taco bowl and the hamburger with the cheese and some sour cream that was on top. That's all. I'm like, so really you wanted a taco, <laughs> but you ordered a taco bowl. She knew it was a salad, but she ended up, she said she didn't like the lettuce because it wasn't iceberg or romaine. It kind of had like curliness on the end of it. I'm like, it tastes just like lettuce. My mother kept saying like, that's the best lettuce. That's the best lettuce. Honestly, we should have got that lettuce to go because that lettuce is, um, is good. So. Oh, mister, why are you slowing down so much? Well, that's National Grid. Hopefully, they're getting our power back on. Hopefully not after I just spent 20 some odd dollars, $27 on coffee. I did pick up some munchkins. So, we'd have some munchkins to snack on. Uh, oh, you got the tree out of the driveway. Oh, my husband's up. That means we got power. means I didn't need to buy... Uh, coffee. Oh, and I see that my little Christmas decoration tree fell down. But, all right. I'm going to let you guys go. So those are the adventures of having my in-laws live with us. It's it's very interesting. And uh, actually, I just realized I don't have, if he doesn't have that on, the garage doors won't open. So I'm going to have to carry everything around through the, the human door, the pedestrian door, I guess they call it. So Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, stay safe with these storms. It's so unusual this time of year to have all these storms and definitely praying for anybody that was affected by the storms and uh, just devastating pictures coming through on my TV. Devastating, just really heartbreaking to see and the number of people that have died and the people at the Amazon warehouse, how amazingly scared they must be having things start to collapse around them can't even imagine going off to work and dealing with that so all right hope you guys are having a great holiday and i will see you tomorrow on my live show be there or be square Alrighty. hey give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't all right see you guys later bye